Welcome back to the garage and the super wrench bench. In this video, we're going to use some Marvel's Mystery Oil and some general purpose grease, and we are going to mix up some Scout Crafters recipe of 50 50. So. mls of that and now we need to scoop out the grease so I need a plastic spoon all right so I found an old baby spoon So this is a recipe that uh, Scout Crafter talks about on his channel. So we're just going to try mixing it up. And This is the uh, can that my cousin gave me that we cleaned up. So I just degreased the outside and it's ready to go. I have the sinking suspicion. do this properly you probably need a hot pad and a glass beaker or a pan of some sort hmm. but let's just see what, what we can see let's just mix it around and I'm assuming the consistency is going to be one that flows, but it's not going to be as thin as the mystery oil, but it's going to be thicker than regular. When I prefer to do chemistry, I prefer a hot plate, a properly calibrated thermometer, a glass beaker, and what would really be nice is a glass stirring rod and a couple of metal spatulas. But we don't have those, so off of eBay, I purchased some inexpensive beakers. I also have some graduated cylinders for various other mixing applications. But, uh, not, I'm actually kind of surprised. This is, um, let's see here. This is actually coming together quite nicely. It's softening up the grease. to kind of recognize the irony here. I'm mixing petroleum products in a petroleum product with a petroleum product. I find that kind of interesting. So what I would like to do is get three or four of these and have various things. Like one will have motor oil, one will have this, another one will have maybe a um, petroleum jelly with mineral oil or whatever else you think I should put in them maybe one will have WD-40 or something uh, if you have a good suggestion for what goes in one of these cans leave me a comment down in the bottom or if you think I'm not if I'm crazy doing this leave me a comment uh, but you know I've always wanted to try this look like a fairly good mixture And you know, Marvel, Marvel Mystery Oil runs, uh, this is the blood of Captain Marvel. Ha <laughs> ha. Had to get that uh, comic book um, 
reference in there. Speaking of comic books, I got I took Liam over to our local comic book store and got him to get some comics on the Avengers and Captain America. So hopefully he'll start reading those. I mean, I can definitely tell you I wasn't a comic book person, but he really seems to dig the Avengers and the Guardians of the Galaxy, so hopefully he'll stick with it. So I'm thinking this baby spoon is now going to be my unofficial mixing spoon for this sort of thing. And really my plan is I'm just going to blend this together until it's blended. Then I'll put the excess into a um, glass jar or something. That's what I'll put on the side of the can. Powered by the Tesseract. Speaking of comic books, I was talking to some of my colleagues who are more well versed in comics than I am. And apparently there are issues in the Marvel Universe between the comics and the movies. I'm probably going to cut a lot of this out. So it's, it's interesting. It's kind of hard to get a good consistency. I'm thinking, I mean, this is pretty lumpy. Let's keep mixing it, see what happens. It smells interesting, this Marvel's mystery oil. This could be the oil for the light speed engine. Assuming you could always, if you thought it was too gloopy, thin it out again with more mystery oil. I think I got it right. Look at that. Scout Crafter will be proud. The blood of Captain Marvel. Very cool. Alright, so we're calling this done. This is uh, 
project bucket container number project number two cousin Chris's oil can now has the uh, good old blood of Captain Marvel all right thanks for watching if you have any suggestions tips good places for me to find any more of these oil cans uh, drop me a note in the comments I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching